Chris Cordova, yo, Sean and Kev, do you think Paul has brought back some of the evolved kayfabe? I've not- I notice I've been watching both Raw and SmackDown because we still don't know what's going to happen for a match at Mania, and Paul has blurred the lines between work and shoot. Your opinion? That's exactly our opinion. We talked about that, uh, if you catch last week's show. Um, we talked yeah, about was- how... People and, are watching again. That and especially people in our in our demographic. Yes, you know, older it's, wrestling fans. Because it's starting to feel like the Attitude Era again a little bit. Yeah, when it's and it's the Rock was there. There's st- it doesn't feel segment. It doesn't feel like it's a week to week. It feels like it's an actual episodic. That you, I mean, there's a reason to watch because you know, like like we said, you know, you go off into the elimination chamber, you come back. You know, and you got Logan, Croc, and Randy, and then you got uh, Drew going over. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, like right now, who's who's? I mean, I think Drew's probably their their top heel. I mean, Roman, of course, but like Drew's mm-hmm. Drew's their top heel. Like is, at this point, is Roman really a heel? Like Rock is more of a heel, but. Bro- Rock is it's it's such a that's like we talked about it's yeah he's like the he's, road warrior Roddy Piper heel everybody yeah knows. he's but it's like out of respect we'll play along with this see and that's what these these people aren't getting it's like nobody is thinking that the Rock is turned into a bad guy he's playing a bad guy he's good at it he's a really good actor and it's like. He's a really good sports entertainer, and that's why this all works. And he, I watched a thing. Was it? Was it? Um, I think it was Rivals. I think uh-huh. I started to watch the beginning of Rivals, and it was um, Triple H versus The Rock. And a lot of like I didn't realize that The Rock took the IC belt off of, off of Paul because I just wasn't around at the time. Yeah, you know I was doing something. I was doing my own thing. And I remember how you know fuck Paul had to suck eggs after that uh, curtain call. He was supposed to be getting that IC belt and he didn't. And it ended up going to Steve. So, yeah. So that was interesting. Gotcha. But there's How a, about but there's a yeah. cutaway of, of Rocky Maivea, the, you know, the, the, the character with the, the smiling, and they were you know, chanting Rocky sucks. And then they shot a, to a shot of Rock when he's probably shooting Fast and Furious or something. And it's like, what a completely different look. But he had, but he had hair. You know, he had hair in the... Uh, no, he didn't. He just had a that really dark OT. And... Um, he didn't think he was, he was ball-headed. But um, just, you know, everybody's look is, uh, like when you see guys when they break in, you're just like, wow. Like they just haven't, you know, everything takes time to, to functionally put it together unless you're like Kurt or Brock because you're you're pretty much being taken from one video game, you know, wrestling, and put it into a pro, pro Yeah, you're known game. from something else. Yeah. But you know what? How many times d- does a talent not get the opportunity to get seasoned, right? They stayed with Rocky. They could have, like, abandoned ship. They could have mavened Rocky very easy. Correct. Right. Which Rocky would now be getting 500,000 listens per day on his, on his uh, YouTube podcast, if that's... No, he's that got kid. he's got he has that and like times fifty in Instagram that are that are paid. Like I forget how much I want to think it's two million. So when Dwayne does when Dwayne does a movie, he gets I like he gets fifteen or twenty. Uh, seven bucks gets like Sandler like five, and then. To use his Instagram and social media, like because he has a whole team that does all that, to, right. to get that uh, machine is like another million and a half. Outrageous! Well right? Done. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. I yeah. was talking Maven numbers. 
Yeah, I, I'm I'm talking about the real deal, whole field. That's how the hookers and hoes know how I feel. All right, who in the audience? Who's got some questions? Let's uh, let's talk to some folks here. It's uh, like this and like that and like this. And, uh, Brandon also asks, have you seen the new Monday Night Wars figures by Mattel? If you have, any thoughts on your figure coming with the removable hair piece and the fake Diesel figure? The removable hair piece is so you can – I'm not always in the, the baseball cap that I, I walked out in for that, that moment in time. So uh, when I joined Scott. So that, that, I, th- I think that's kind of cool. Yeah. Not not having a shirt, I've never had an action figure without a shirt, so I don't have a shirt, but I have like a black t-shirt that goes with that hat, and that kind of gives me the look of when I came down the first the first time. There it is, that's the one with the cap oh, there in the ring. Yeah. That looks like it's a prototype. Yeah, it's a prototype. That's not been painted. What else we got? <clears throat> Let's get one more up here. One more, and we'll send our people home happy. There's the caner. It's Glenn Jacobson as a diesel. Fake diesel, yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm curious since I get a percentage of diesel, if I get a percentage of that since I'm diesel. That's a good question. I would have asked. No, you the because they're going to say no. If that's the case, and you would. That's why you bitched about going in the Hall of Fame is you wouldn't go in as diesel. But, so you know, I, I think I as can't, Diesel... I can't double play it. This you wouldn't because it's Glenn's likeness. But if it's your likeness in Diesel, you Oh, get no, that. it's my... Yeah, I get that. But this is, this is clearly Glenn. That, see, Glenn's getting a check on this here. Yeah. I mean, but to his campaign and he, fund. And he, and he should. 